Now, sources have told CNN News 18 that sources say that assassins of uh, Atik Ahmed claims are hard to digest. Now, the question that arises is that are the assassins trying to save the real godfather? As Prayagraj police gets remand of the three accused Lavlesh, Sunny and Arun Maurya, it has been left perplexed with a stunning claim made by Sunny. Now, sources say that Sunny seems to be the leader amidst this team of assassins and a top cop has claimed that Sunny has said that he had access to pistols from mid-2021 and he has claimed that he had got them from Jitendra Man Gogi, who was the Delhi uh, NCR-based gangster who was shot dead in a Delhi courtroom in December 2021. Our UP Bureau Chief Pranshu Mishra is with us to give us more details. Pranshu, can you tell us more about the claims that have been made by the shooters of Atik Ahmed? Yes, that's right. Sir. You are absolutely right. See, you know, very sensational claims or, or sensational input has been uh, uh, given by, by these assailants, especially uh, Sunny, uh, who claims that, you know, he got these pistols uh, not recently, but at least as far as May 2021, so almost, you know, two years back uh, from, from the present uh, moment of crime. Now, what he claims is that, you know, he got these pistols, very sophisticated pistols, each costing not less than six to seven lakh a piece. And three such pistols, he claims he got from Gogi, uh, the dreaded gangster, who, uh, if you remember, who was shot dead uh, in a in, uh, you know, in, in a gang war uh, sort of uh, scenario in, in a Delhi court in December 22. So now the probably is that what the authorities feel is that is he trying to mislead by taking a name of a gangster who is no more to, you know, from whom uh, the, these claims could be cross-checked. So that is one, uh, you know, argument or one uh, claim which is clearly coming under a huge uh, suspicion and today, of course, is going to be the second day of uh, police custody remand of these accused. Now the second claim which these assassins say is that they also tried to kill Atik and uh, Ashraf on 14th April when they were brought to the Sessions Court in uh, to the CGM Court uh, when police custody demand application was moved, but they de but they, they couldn't succeed because there was a strong uh, police security arrangement around Atik and Ashraf. Now this claim again seems to be you know could be a, could be a possible attempt to mislead, misguide because the sort of actual intel which these people have, uh, many believe that could not be possible unless and until there was someone you know uh, uh, a Godfather like figure or the missing common link between the three who was providing them with the intel with the logistics support and arms and ammunition. So is, uh, are these, uh, you know, three accused trying to shield someone? That is the primary question. And therefore, uh, as the day two of uh, remand will, you know, proceed today, uh, there is all possibility of further interrogation. The crime scene might also be recreated. And there is already this increasing buzz within uh, the top accounts of the government here that whether these, you know, three accused, if they fail to cooperate and give satisfying answers during, during uh, the investigation remand, whether they, they are the fit case for, you know, uh, requesting the court for their uh, narco analysis test. That is also uh, an idea which is being considered. But as of now, some sensational claims about from where they got these pistols and how they tried to kill Atik even on 14th have been made uh, by these assailants. But they clearly seem hard to be digested. And uh, because the names which they are taken are no more to actually, uh, you know, verify or deny uh, the, uh, the claims which have been made by these assassins. Also, Pranshu, earlier we saw that they had uh, claimed that they wanted to kill Atik Ahmed the way Sidhu Musewala was killed and uh, that they were very influenced influenced by uh, Lawrence Bishnoi and that they used to watch, uh, they watched his uh, videos uh, of Lawrence Bishnoi. So, and now uh, extremely difficult, uh, different uh, claims coming in from the killers. So, are they changing their statements with each passing day? Well, see, as far as this Lawrence Vishnoi argument is concerned, you know, uh, no cop as such uh, confirmed those details to us. Uh, but the fact here is that, see, you know, the manner in which this assassin ha assassination has been carried out and the way these uh, boys were using pistols, the posture they were using, the fact that the, their hands were not shaking when they were firing the pistols. Uh, so if you talk to experts, uh, they'll, they'll say that, you know, this sort of precision, this sort of uh, boldness can only come with at least a couple of weeks of training. So this clearly means that these assassins were particularly trained for the task. The way they were, you know, surrounding Atik and Ashraf from the three sides, that also indicates about the, the, the bullet, the foolproof plan of, uh, of, of, of shooting to kill. So the point here is that the, the theories which they are floating about from where they got inspiration, from where they got uh, uh, the arms and weapons, they might be just the fancy ideas or creation of mind to protect someone else. See, we have been telling our viewers right from day one that all uh, the, uh, the, the, you know, the different points in this assassination, they don't really match up. And together, if you see them, they clearly 
indicate that these men clearly had some immense, some very solid intel, some very solid logistical support, some very solid, you know, uh, feedback and protective uh, mechanism. That's why these small-time criminals could actually muster so much courage to come out and uh, shoot Atik and Ahmed in police custody. So the, so the point here is that all these claims which are now being made from Musawala theory to getting weapons from Gogi to, you know, trying to kill them on 14th of, uh, of April, all these claims seem to be a bit misplaced. And the other fact is that the police itself is a party in this case because these murders took place under police custody. So whatever argument if ultimately put forth by police also, they should be taken with a pinch of salt because, you know, uh, the allegations in this case are also against the UP police for failing to protect Atik and Ashraf in their custody. All right, Pranshu, thank you for all those details. We'll keep tracking the story for more updates.